Everyone, I'm Sandra Bookman. And I'm Joe Torres. New at 6 o'clock, people gathered for a large protest in Washington Heights all over a problem in the Dominican Republic. And that's where a software glitch forced the country to suspend all voting. Well, that problem sparked an international call for change. Eyewitness News reporter Naveen Dhaliwal has the very latest. She is in Washington Heights tonight. Naveen. Joe, yeah, we're a very large crowd here at 180th and St. Nicholas. I'm going to pan over very, very passionate, and they're here to protest the breakdown of those electronic ballot machines in the Dominican Republic last Sunday during the municipal elections. They say their families are out there. They claim there's a lot of corruption out there. Now, these protests are happening in parts of the country, including the DR. Election officials say the voting was halted last Sunday after about three hours because of problems with the voting machines. These machines used in approximately 17 of the country's 158 municipalities. Opposition parties complained that people couldn't fairly vote because they could not see their candidates on the electronic ballots. Now, many years ago, the election was rigged, as I mentioned before, by the leading party, which is the Dominican Liberation Party. And here's some what the protesters have to say. Take a listen. The money that they spend is the government. It's not the government money. It's the people got money, and they spend it like nothing. It's that we want clear answers of what happened. You created this automated system, invested so much money from our taxes. Why? Why change that system now? Why have an automated system? And again, you're just hearing from protesters. Uh, they've been here for several hours uh, here in Washington Heights. They want answers. Tonight we've learned that the election officials in the DR are investigating and they hope that they will get to the bottom of it.